day 21 people welcome and welcome to the most stressful day of riding because of traffic because of very dangerous road so I have to be really really careful here now and then at the same time I have no idea where to go you know I always have to look on this Welcome Vlaanderen and Nederland op de meest stressvolle dag van mijn trip. We zitten hier in het volle verkeer, Bangkok. Um, op weg naar uh, Samut Prakan, Samut Sakon. Um, ik wil hier weg van die hoofdbaan. Niet gemakkelijk. I hope we're nearly gone of this main road here. Because from Pattaya to um, well to here, on route 34, I think it's Highway 34. It's really, really dangerous. I nearly had two accidents. One was completely my fault. The other one was an idiot that just came out of nowhere without stopping on the highway just in front of me. So you got to be alert all the time, all the time. Where am I going here? 250 meters. But there it says Samut Prakan straight ahead. So this is always confusing. The GPS sends you here. And then uh, the signs say go straight. So I'm just going to follow the signs. The GPS will reroute automatically. Back on the road and buy. Get me back on the road and me on. This is crazy. Can you imagine if you were in this traffic every single day? Okay. 
Wow, damit war es. I am now nearly in Pachaburi, but this morning has been the most stressful ride of the tour, for sure. Uh, traffic, unbelievable, dangerous. I nearly had two accidents. Uh, one was completely my fault, Yeah, if you're not familiar with the roads. The second one, an idiot that came out of nowhere, didn't stop whatsoever. Really stressful. Uh, I'm out of the traffic now I'm a little bit uh, more relaxed again I should say and I saw this fantastic temple here so I thought I have to stop I have to show you this beautiful temple uh, Chinese definitely uh, really cool I've, I've got no idea what I'm gonna do today I don't know where I'm gonna sleep it is now, hang on, 11.30, so half past 12, no, half past 11. So, I don't know if I'm going to push onwards to Prachuop Kirikan, uh, or will I stay somewhere in between Pachaburi and Prachuop Kirikan, I don't know. Anyway, uh, a few more days and we're back home. That hurts. But hey. We, we, we had a good time, so it's all good. All right, we're gonna push on. See where we end up. Okay, so behind me and in front of me, and left and right everywhere, you have these um, salt fields, I think they call it. They harvest salt, sea salt. Now, obviously, I do not have the knowledge to explain you how that works or how they do it but that's where a lot of salt comes from I don't think it's very good for the soil because I don't think it's natural it's all man-made but it's all salt yeah hello <laughs> so if somebody is watching this video and he or she knows how it works how the process works let us know because i don't know but it's very interesting to see
Okay, so I am in Kuiburi now, which is about 40, 40 kilometers from uh, Plateau of Kirikan, in a place called Akara Mani Resort. I will never be able to remember that. It's a nice place, it's very quiet like everywhere, but um, I've got a nice basic room for 400 baht with air conditioning and really good internet, so I'm happy. I'm gonna have a look at the local market here. There is a local market here a few hundred meters further up. But let's have a look at the room first. I'm back from the market. I bought a bit of food for dinner and uh, I'm gonna really enjoy that. Let me show you what I bought. So the first bag has the Sai Krok Isan, one of my favorite snacks. So good. Second one sausages with glass noodles so sausages with glass noodles mm. very good and last but not least Cow lamb. I bought one white one and one with the dark sticky rice. So for people who are not familiar with this, this is sticky rice and coconut milk. Put it in a bamboo stick and roast it over fire. Fantastic. Really, really, really good.
It is sweet from the coconut milk, but it's really filling. So I only bought two, and that's gonna be more than enough. Together with the little sausages over there, that's me. And that's my only food for today. But that's okay, because in Pattaya I had nothing else but, or almost nothing else but fast food. No good. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. This is it from uh, Kuiburi. I have no idea where I'm gonna end up tomorrow, but one thing is for sure, we're heading closer to home. Um, but I hope you liked this video. So if you did, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And I see you on the next one.